This is Japan's Yukina Ota, 17-year-old Rookie of the Year in Japanese women's skating, the world junior champion, who won every junior event she entered last season. Here she is on the international senior stage, third after the short program, and a very real chance to medal. To look at this young woman, you think she's too petite, too delicate to ever attempt a triple jump of a high degree of difficulty, but trust me, she's <laughs> deceiving, she's exquisite, and when she's on, it's an amazing performance. Look at the speed she's carrying into this triple lutz. Triple lutz, double toe. Kina skated a clean, short program at Skate Canada last year and created a stir. She was in second place, then crumbled to fourth. That was her first ever senior event, as she learned from that. I just love the speed that she carries into her jumps, although she didn't quite execute that triple flip cleanly. Chatted with Sally Rahorek, who is a Canadian World Olympic judge. She was a chef de mission in Salt Lake City, and she spent two years teaching in Japan, and therefore had an opportunity to look at their skating community rather closely. And I said, Sally, what is it that's producing so many great Japanese women right now? And she says, Paul, the one thing that they did when I was there, whether they were a young novice, learned to skate, beginner, or a senior skater, every time they went to do a jump, even if it was a single, they had to go in it at full speed. And that just carried through their entire training so that every jump they ever attempt, a single, a double, a triple, full speed. And we're seeing the benefits of that approach with their program. Well, the Japanese think that she's got every gift needed to be a champion. Another beautiful triple sao cow. When she hits a jump, the speed in and the speed out are almost identical. It's quite, quite marvelous to see. Great sense of her own interpretation out there. Triple Lutz attempt. Neither one of them were successful for her. Much like Joni Rochette, it seems to be a jump that's giving her trouble amongst an otherwise full repertoire of excellent triple jumps. Yukina Ota of Japan, only 17 years old. A delicate young skater whose fragile stature belies the power she has delivered out here this afternoon.
making her presence felt and maybe even staking a claim here to the podium. Teenagers making their mark in Hamilton this afternoon and she is an example of the depth of that Japanese women's skating program and they say in Japan she has all the tools to be a world champion someday. This is her triple lights. This is like Joni Rochette. She has some trouble with it, but she gets the job done. Back up into the double toe. Very well done. She has all the elements to make it to the very top, but it's this one jump that she struggles with, like Joanne. She didn't quite get a good pick into the ice to get up into the air. Here's a layback spin. Beautiful arch in her back. Very relaxed shoulders. Gorgeous position. Ladies and gentlemen, the marks please. Kina Oda of Japan awaiting her marks from this free skate. Amber Corwin of the U.S., the leader right now. Fanouf and Rochette of Canada, second and third. Robinson, fourth. The marks for technical merit. Here are the marks now for technical merit for Yukina Ota of Japan. And, and they range from 5-1 to 5-6. The marks, please, for presentation. For presentation. From 5-2 to 5-8. Two 5-8s on that scoreboard. That is the second best free skate of the afternoon and enough to put Yukina Ota into first place ahead of Cynthia Fanuf. Cynthia Finuff is still first in the free program. 